So Donald Trump got absolutely hammered by a judge today in the state of New York because he is hiding evidence in the case against him and his organization. So for a long time now, there's been an effort to get all the documentation at the Trump organization for both civil and criminal cases against Trump and his company, proving that they lied to dodge taxes or inflate their values to get better loans and evaluations. And now a judge has ruled in favor of the prosecutor saying that Donald Trump has been hiding evidence. And if he doesn't turn it over soon, he is going to send in people to do it for them. I want to read you some reporting. It says, now in response to complaints from James's office, Letitia James, the attorney general, a New York state judge has ruled that if the Trump organization doesn't comply with the subpoenas by next week, the company will have to hire an outside expert to search its documents. The Trump organization has until September 30 to file a report on its efforts to preserve, collect, and produce all documents responsive to subpoenas issued by James as part of a civil probe into whether the company manipulated the value of its assets for loans and tax breaks, state court justice Arthur and Orgeron said on, in a September 2nd order unsealed on Friday, according to a report from Bloomberg. So this is some news that dropped just today of a ruling a couple weeks ago that Trump and his cronies at the company are hiding evidence and that they are not being good faith when it comes to providing all the information the judges have demanded they provide. And this is in a context of Donald Trump and his organization clearly hiding things. This is not a one-off because remember, it was just a couple days ago that it was announced on the same day that Eric Trump's lawyer quit on him abruptly that they found six million documents in someone's basement. A Trump executive's basement, there were six million documents pertinent to Trump organization taxes. You cannot tell me that these things are coincidental. You cannot tell me that you're finding secret documents in a basement and then as well, the company is being hammered by a judge, directed by a judge to finally stop hiding their crimes and be honest with people, those things are not disconnected. Donald Trump is very clearly hiding things here. This is not the conduct of a company and of a man and of employees at a company that are innocent. If Donald Trump was innocent, he wouldn't be hiding things. He would be fully cooperating because that cooperation would get the trial done quicker. And then if he was found not guilty, he could cry to the rooftops that this was a witch hunt and that he was innocent all along and it was politically motivated and it would give him all of this, you know, momentum going forward in other trials and maybe in his return to politics. But rather, we're seeing a man hide away. All of this is being done because he knows he's guilty. He's guilty of all of the things he's being accused of doing. And in every single case he's operating in, he is hiding documents. Well, on the January 6th stuff, he's hiding documents, hiding records, trying to say that because he was president before, he is forever protected by executive privilege. With regard to his personal taxes, he went to the Supreme Court at least twice trying to get his you know, personal taxes protected from being examined by prosecutors and judges and investigators. He failed there. And now he's trying to basically hide documents despite the fact that you're supposed to produce them all in a court case. Donald Trump is terrified. The Trump kids are terrified. The other Trump executives are terrified. And it's only a matter of time before all this comes out. One of the reasons this has been taking so long is that Trump has been fighting tooth and nail to hide his crimes, but he can only do that so much longer.